Okay, so now we're going to go the other way. Uh, so now I'm going to give you um, r equals, how about cosine of 2 theta. Okay. So here's one. I'm not even sure if you know what this looks like. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure what this looks like. Okay. That's fine. We're going to try to convert this into x, uh, an equation. It's not necessarily going to be a y equals, but it's going to be an equation with x and y. So, mm -hmm. so we know r equals square root of x squared plus y squared. And theta equals arc 10 of um, y over x. Okay, that's right. So we can say root x squared plus y squared equals cosine of 2 arc 10 of y over x. Okay, yeah, that actually gets you x's and y's, and it, it, I hadn't thought that you would approach it this way, but, but you're right. This is um, something that can be simplified mm -hmm. a lot easier. Um, into actually equations of just x's and y's. In, if instead we use uh, the idea that x equals r cosine theta and y equals r sine theta. So this, although this is technically correct, uh, I want it to be basically like a polynomial or maybe involving some square roots. Right. So is there a different way you can approach this? Um, here, using this idea that x is r cosine theta and y is r sine theta. Well, so what? Well, your r is fine. You don't okay. need to erase that. Well, then it's a cosine of. 2 theta instead of theta. Hmm. Well, we know it's so like cosine theta is x over r. That's right. Uh, and cosine you know, cosine 2 theta equals r. Right. So maybe we could say x equals or x equals cosine theta times cosine 2 theta. But that's not really that helpful. Yeah, do you feel like that's simplifying or making things more complicated? It's not, not really simplifying. Yeah, so you want to figure out how to simplify a little bit here. <coughs> so we could expand out cosine of 2x. No, that's, that's going to make things complicated still. What do you mean? Well, we have r equals cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. Okay. So I want to ask you, is that more or less complicated than what you had before? Well, I'm not sure. So we didn't know how to deal with the two theta. Okay. Now we have thetas, which we know how to deal with better. Okay. So maybe we can say, so since Cosine theta is x over r. Cosine squared theta would be x squared over r squared. x squared over r squared minus the y squared over r squared. And then we have r cubed cubed. And then we know r squared equals this. 
Okay. Well, so what does this equation turn into then? r cubed equals x squared minus y squared. If I want to put that entirely in terms of x's and y's, what does that equation become? So, we're going to change r into x's and y's. Yeah. So, that's going to say we have x squared plus y squared root x squared plus y squared equals x squared minus y squared. That's right, or if I just want to say x squared minus y squared quantity to some power, what power b is that? b to the 3 halves. There you go. So this is our equation. r equals cosine 2 theta it turns into x squared plus y squared to the 3 halves equals x squared minus y squared. We're going to have a plus or minus problem here, and I'll show you how we might deal with that on the computer. Okay. okay. 